Hey kids, we're girls now, but we're gonna grow up to become women. And that's important, Quinn, because not too long ago, women didn't have the same rights as men. That's true, Cadence. And thanks to women like Susan B. Anthony and many others, they paved the way for women's rights. Susan Brownell Anthony, or Susan B. Anthony, was one of the most important women in history for helping with the rights for women to vote in the United States of America. And along with Elizabeth Cady Stanton, they traveled around the country giving speeches in support of women's suffrage. Suffrage is the right to vote. In fact, Susan was president of the National Women's Suffrage Association from 1892 to 1900. Let's learn a bit more about this amazing woman. Susan B. Anthony was born on February 15, 1820 in Adams, Massachusetts. She had six siblings. She was the second oldest child. And many of her siblings actually became activists supporting freedom for slaves in the United States. Susan was very smart. She learned to read and write when she was only three years old. And when she was six years old, Susan's family moved from Massachusetts to a farm in New York. Susan's father was a farmer and then went on to own and manage a cotton mill his name was Daniel and was raised a Quaker. Susan B. Anthony was inspired by the belief of Quakers that everyone was equal. And it was this belief that motivated her entire life. When she was 19, she was a teacher in New Rochelle, New York. And then she moved back in with her parents and siblings at their farm in Rochester, New York, six years later. During this time, women in the United States struggled to gain equal rights with men. And Susan knew it was unfair that just because she was a woman, that she didn't have the same rights to choose political leaders as well as owning her own property. She also thought it was unfair that male teachers earned more money than women did. Then, in the early 1850s, Susan B. Anthony started giving speeches, arranging public meetings, and hung up posters, as well as passed around leaflets and flyers. She did this even when angry crowds of people disagreed and yelled at her that women shouldn't even speak in public places. Susan would actually wait and stand for hours at a time just to get signatures on petition asking for women's rights. It was in 1851 that Susan attended an abolitionist meeting in Seneca Falls, New York. That's where she met Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who was an advocate for equal rights. In a prior meeting in 1848, Elizabeth Cady Stanton argued that women should have the right to vote. It was here she presented an important document called the Declaration of Sentiments. And Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton bonded immediately and became friends as well as co-workers. They started working together to abolish slavery, but they also worked on increasing rights to African Americans as well as women. Susan and Elizabeth's work helped tremendously in making people aware of women's rights. After years of speaking with people about women's rights, they started the revolution in 1868. It was a newspaper that helped share opinions for women's rights. In the following year, they co-founded the National Women Suffrage Association, or the NWSA, which focused on women's rights to vote. Again, suffrage means the right to vote. And during the Civil War, Susan and Elizabeth created the Women's National Loyal League, otherwise known as the WNLL. And the WNLL was the first national women's political organization. 
and the Women's National Loyal League, or the WNLL, collected 400,000 signatures to convince Congress to approve the 13th Amendment, which was to abolish slavery. After the Civil War, Susan B. Anthony fought for the 14th and 15th Amendments. The 14th Amendment allowed equal protection of the laws to all Americans. The 14th Amendment also guaranteed citizenship to anyone born in the United States. And as a result, citizenship was then given to former slaves. The 15th Amendment gave African American men voting rights as well. However, Susan became very frustrated that the amendments did not offer voting rights to women. In November of 1872, Susan B. Anthony was arrested for illegally voting in the presidential election. She was found guilty and was given a $100 fine. Oh. That's right, and while she was in the courtroom, Susan B. Anthony told the judge, and I quote, I'll never pay a dollar of the unjust penalty, and I shall earnestly and persistently continue to urge all women to follow a revolutionary idea that resistance to tyranny is obedience to God. Her rebellious choice to vote went viral at the time and spread the word that women should fight for the right to vote. And still after this, Susan B. Anthony continued to raise awareness for women's rights. And on July 4th, in 1876, the National Women's Suffrage Association approved and adopted a Declaration of Rights for the Women of the United States. And in this Declaration of Rights, it stated, and I quote again, We ask justice. We ask equality. We ask that all the civil and political rights that belong to citizens of the United States be guaranteed to us and our daughters forever. Susan B. Anthony also lobbied to allow women to own property, earn equal pay, and hold public office. The next in 1888, Susan helped to join the two largest suffrage associations into one and named it the National American Women's Suffrage Association. She was president of the group until 1900. In February of 1906, Susan B. Anthony gave her final speech. She died one month later. She was 86 years old. Susan's lifelong efforts encouraged others to continue to work on the struggle for women's rights. But it did take another 14 years for Congress to approve the 19th Amendment, which granted women voting rights. In 1979, Susan B. Anthony's efforts to the Equal Rights Movement were honored and she became the first woman to appear on a U.S. coin. And today, the house where she was born is now the Susan B. Anthony Birthplace Museum. It opened its doors in 2010. Well, hey, guess what? Now we know all about Susan B. Anthony and what she did for women's rights. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.